Hi, welcome back to another vlog. Today we're all home and we are cleaning up our house. We're trying to do spring cleaning. For, we have been trying for a while, but we always get distracted and we don't end up doing it. And also today we're tilling our garden. First, we're gonna start with some breakfast. And you found my shoe? Yeah. Thank you. I got my shoe. So breakfast first and probably clean up and then gardening. You gonna help daddy, Levi? Sure, dad. You wanna help? Yeah. Alright. Can you? Dad, that garden smells yucky. He's not wrong. Alright, can you take this to the door? To the garage? I can take uh, it by myself. Alright. It's risky. Alright, I'll give you the new guy. I'll take that one too. Okay, take it to the door. Can you open them up? Yeah, I can. Where's that the oil on the eye? Almost done breakfast and we're gonna go outside next. Are you excited to tell? Yeah, I'm, I actually am. I think it's gonna be hard but because we're breaking new ground but I did some tilling last night and it felt, it felt good. Okay, why are we tilling? Because I was told to till. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we're tilling is because I want to make a bigger garden and it's all grass so we have to um, till in order to plant. I just want a bigger garden area. Okay, so let's go outside, okay, Levi? Okay. So here is my plan. I have two gardens from the last three years and I wanna make one of them bigger. I'm gonna keep this one as it is or just make it more a better shape i guess and then here curtis tilled some last night but i had that one and that one from last year and i want to extend it from here all the way to here probably as close as i can to the playset like that and just make it a lot a lot bigger so i'm gonna put some stakes in the ground for him to know i'm coming i'm coming and then he can tell.
lift tilling is done. I think we're gonna do a few rounds and now we have to pick some rocks because our soil has a lot of rocks underneath. So we're gonna pick most of the rocks, as many as we can, and then I till again. warm in your garden. You found a warm in my garden? Yes. I found a warm in that garden. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna PA with it. Okay. something that has been on my mind a lot lately which is potty training Tess. She is 16 months now and I potty trained Levi when he was 19 months so she's getting close to that age and I've been trying to decide how to potty train her. I think she's starting to show signs of readiness. She's aware of when she pees and says it even sometimes and she also brings us a clean diaper after she poops so I know that she understands when she has to go. With Levi, I used the three-day potty training method and I have a full video where I talk about how that went. And I know that I'll use the same method for tests for daytime potty training. What I'm not sure about is what to do about nighttime training. I did both nighttime and daytime at the same time for Levi. And even though he had some nights where he didn't pee the bed at all right from the start, it took about two months for him to actually click at night. And I know a different way to do nighttime potty training is to use a diaper at night until they wake up with the dry diaper. My worry is that if I do that with her being just 18, 19 months, depending on when we decide to uh, start, what if that period of having a diaper at night is very, very long? If I don't use a pull-up diaper at night, there is a chance that it will go different than it did for Levi. But I only know what to expect based on my experience with Levi. So do I try nighttime and daytime potty training at the same time, like I did with Levi? Or do I go with the daytime for now and then try the nighttime training after a few months? The reason why I'm conflicted is because in the potty training book that I read about the three-day method called Oh Crap Potty Training, the author says that the best thing is to do it all at once, daytime and nighttime together. And I would not want to get used to using diapers at night and then maybe have to wait six months to a year until we get rid of them. But maybe it won't be that long. I just don't know. So if you have any advice, let me know in the comments below. I know that I have to decide soon. This evening she actually came to me and said pee, pee. And I know I should have taken her to pee, but I didn't bring out the potty yet because I just haven't decided what to do about the nighttime training. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to my dilemma and thank you for watching my vlog. I am so thankful for everyone who's watching and liking my videos. I saw that my channel has 2,500 subscribers and I wanted to say a big, big thank you. To everyone who is here, I absolutely love making these videos and I'm so happy when people tell me that they enjoy watching them. So thank you again for being here and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.